Hello and Namaskar, I'm Rakhi Bakshi. Welcome to IFA and this very special show, Stalwart Speak. We speak to some of the bright minds people who share their insights and perspectives, especially on public administration. And you've been running this series and it's great to have another very special guest today with us, Mr. Long Kam Yen. He's the Permanent Secretary of Public Service Division, Singapore. Our delegation is very much here and we really want to welcome him and also get some insights from him. Thank you so much for joining the show, sir. Pleasure to be here. So, so do share some insights and perspectives perspective. when we're talking about public administration. Uh, we're talking about some of the issues in the modern era as to how the best practices can be looked at and adopted. Well, I think it's a common challenge for all of us, whether in Singapore, in India or in other countries of the world. We are facing disruptive change brought about by both the possibilities but also the challenges of technology. Uh, at the same time, I think uh, and rightfully so, uh, the expectations of our citizens are rising in terms of uh, wanting to have more convenient, more integrated delivery of public services that is done in a more citizen-centric way. And uh, I think the challenge upon all of us, uh, no matter where we are, uh, in the different governments of the world, is how we can then integrate and deliver uh, services to the citizen, to the household, in an integrated manner that takes into account uh, their perspective and putting them at the center of how we design uh, the rollout of our public services. And since at both places we're also emphasizing and focusing on training that's why, or the orientation that's why, how would you really look at that perspective and how we can do the best? Well, I think it's uh, both a case of uh, understanding um, the, shall we say, the capabilities and competencies that will be required uh, for the jobs of the future in the public service uh, and then mapping that out and then purposefully designing learning and development opportunities. And as part of the process, I think it's important to also consult our citizens about what they're expecting and also to learn internationally best practices from other governments, from other public services, including from India. And that is part of the purpose of my visit to Delhi this time. Would you like to just share some ideas on shared goals, shared vision, especially uh, in relation to Singapore and India's cooperation, sir? Well, I think uh, Singapore and India share very long-standing and deep relationships, and uh, it's multifaceted. Uh, the ties are strong, uh, both in the economic field, in the social field, and even the people field. Uh, and we have uh, many uh, Singaporeans as well as Indians who are business partners. We visit each other's countries. And I think there's much that we can learn from each other, uh, including in the area of public administration and the development of our public service. And uh, I'm here to explore possibilities of how to strengthen uh, that bond uh, so that, that mutual learning can uh, be deepened. So as you rightly mentioned, that citizen centricity is very much important as we feel here in India as well. Uh, what all steps can we do? I mean, briefly, if you can just give some tips here. Well, I'll just share what we're trying to do in Singapore uh, in the whole area of public service delivery. And we've decided that we would like to put the citizen at the center of how we design and how we deliver our public services. So we want to be citizen-centric rather than agency-centric. That means breaking down silos, it means bringing different agencies and different departments together and to actually integrate packages of services uh, that are designed around the citizen. And we have adopted uh, uh, an approach which looks at the significant moments of life of a citizen. For example, uh, when the citizens get married, when they have a child, when the child enrolls for education, or when they apply for public housing. I think these are significant moments of life uh, of a citizen. And at those significant moments, uh, there's a whole package of services uh, and interactions and transactions that we need to undertake uh, with the government. And the question is, rather than having them approach multiple government agencies to have those transactions completed, can we not bring it together in an integrated way so that they can do it at one point and to make it much more convenient for them? So I think that's an illustration of an approach that we are taking in Singapore and which we think has been fairly, I would say, welcomed by our citizens. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that, sir. But talking about technology, we are also looking at e-governance a lot here in India. Uh, how do you really look at the roadmap for that? I mean, how can it be more holistic that it takes collectively everyone together? 
Um, I think you've raised a very important point. I think technology brings about a lot of possibilities and I've seen that being applied in a very big way uh, in India and in Singapore. At the same time, we're also mindful that there are segments of the population who may be less comfortable, shall we say, with uh, technology, with virtual services. And so I think we need to be inclusive about this. On the one hand, we need to be quite clear that directionally we want to uh, leverage on the possibilities of technology and to also build up a certain uh, capacity, knowledge and confidence amongst our citizens uh, to transact virtually with the government and to be comfortable and confident doing so. At the same time, I think we recognize that there is a segment of the population who to today are less comfortable and we need to cater to them. And that's why we continue to have call centers and we also need to have some uh, physical service centers because uh, for these uh, segments of population, they're much more comfortable uh, interacting and talking to a person rather than <laughs> to a computer or to a phone. And uh, I think uh, one big shift uh, that uh, we're aiming for is to actually move from being transactional to being relational in how we interact with the citizen. And we think that that builds trust between the citizens and the public service and the government and we think that that's very important. Thank you so much. It was truly a delight talking to you here, sir, and uh, we wish you all the best. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. And that was an interview uh, with Mr. Lo Kam Yen and uh, it was such a pleasure talking to him. Thank you so much for watching the show. Namaskar.